Today we're painting wicker baskets. Hey friends, I'm so glad you're here joining me today. Today we're going to talk about how to paint wicker baskets and I'm going to show you two ways, spray paint and chalk paint. So the first part of this project will be outdoors and then we'll come inside and style the spray painted basket and then the second part will chalk paint indoors and I'll show you how to style that basket. Oh and I forgot, we're going to do a little bit of thrifting, very tiny, just to show you a few other baskets and what to look for. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm back from Goodwill and I'm going to show you how I clean off these baskets. Um, one thing I did want to mention is if your basket is kind of dirty or it's really aged, you can clean it with my How to Clean Baskets video and I'll put a link to that in the description. But I'm going to start with this basket and we're going to paint it um, with spray paint. So I'm going to basically just dust it off and get any labels off. Um, and I, the way I dust it off is I use a dry paintbrush and I just basically get down in those cracks and crevices and dust it. Okay, when I'm painting baskets, I pretty much will use any kind of paint as long as it's a matte finish. So look at that cap and make sure it's a matte finish. So first, let's shake this up real good and I'll, we'll start painting. Okay, so I like to start with the inside of the basket. So I'm going to paint across the bottom and the sides and I'll basically just sit it up on its side while I'm doing that. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this dry for about five minutes and then I'll come back and do a second coat. That's looking pretty good. Let's wait five more minutes. We'll let that dry, maybe do a few more spots inside, and then we'll move to the outside. Okay, that's looking really good. Look how thick it is now. Looks good. I think we're ready for the outside. Okay, so the outside's gonna be the easiest part. I'm gonna lift these up, and then I'm just going to work one side at a time doing it. So far so good, but definitely needs more coats, so we'll come back in five minutes. Okay, let's do our second coat. All right, we'll let this dry and come back in five minutes. All right, for our last coat, and then we're gonna work on the handles. All right, so let's work on these handles. Okay, let's let that dry and we'll come back and check it in five minutes. All right, so far I'm happy with how it looks after five minutes. I'm gonna leave it out here for 30 minutes so that it can get good and dry before I actually pick it up and bring it inside. Um, it definitely pays to do those thinner coats because I did thicker coats on the top and as you can see, it dripped on me right, right there. See it over there? right there. So definitely take your time on those handles too and do thinner coats. So let's go check on the basket and see how it looks. Oh, I think it's perfect. Okay, so let's put this up on the shelf where I have an idea. So right now, I've kind of left this shelf open for something. Let's put the basket up here and see how we like it. Okay, that's super cute. So now I just need to find something to go in the basket and then I think we have just the right thing for that shelf. 
Okay, so I just went out in the yard and I picked all this greenery from my yard and I'm gonna transfer it to the new basket and then we're gonna put it on the shelf behind me. Okay, let's take it and put it up on the shelf. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so much better now. For our next project, I found this little basket at Goodwill and it's actually still in the wrapper. So I don't even have to clean it. Um, okay, so now we have a basket, just a plain basket that we're going to chalk paint. And um, you can use any kind of chalk paint. I just have this chalk paint by Dixie Bell and it's color cotton. So um, check your chalk paint inside, make sure it doesn't need stirring. Mine looks actually pretty good, except it does need stirring a little bit. I'm going to start painting the interior first. So we'll paint the bottom and, uh, and then we'll paint the sides. Um, whenever you feel like your paintbrush is dragging, you just need to get a little bit more water on it. Now, just go back through and look and make sure there's no little spots you need to get. And then also make sure there's no thick areas that need to be um, smoothed out. But what you'll notice when you, um, when you paint is you'll notice it's on the outside. So go back out here and just kind of smooth out these little spots so that when you paint the outside, you don't have drips out on, in between the wicker. What we're gonna do next is start working on the outside. We've got the basket done and I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one coat. I feel like it has a little bit of a whitewash rustic look. So I'm just gonna work on the handle now and then we'll let it dry. want to look back over it very carefully for any drippy spots or anything, any areas that maybe didn't get painted. Now we're going to let that dry for about 30 minutes and then we will style it. So what'd you think? Are you ready to give this really easy DIY project a try? It's so easy. Um, and both ways are fun to do. If you can't work outside, use the chalk paint indoors. If you're able to get outside, I'd spray paint it. That's, a, that's an easy one too. They're both super easy. So give them both a try. Um, if you have any questions, please comment. I would love to help. And also, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.
I try to bring home decor, DIYs, and entertaining decorating uh, once a week. I hope you guys are having a great day, and we'll see you soon.